hello guys today we will cover the topic on sql server accept clause accept clause basically is used to combine the record set of two select statements then compares them for the availability of records it means it compares both select statements and return only those records which are not available in second select statement it means suppose if we have a any records available in our first select statements and it is not available in our second select statement so it will return those records here is the syntax so let's review the syntax here we are checking for column name this one is our first select statement this one is our second select statement here we have used accept clause so it means all the records for column name which are not available in second select statements will be returned so let's quickly take an example suppose here we have a table name table 1 and we have one more table table 2 so let's execute them together and here you can see both table having serial number and name columns but the column value a for name a b c here you can see c is not available in second statement same h k and z so c h k z is not available in second statement if we run these two statement by using accept clause so what happens let's look at that case so here we are going to use accept clause for column name so it means we are checking for only column name between two select statement so whatever the, our first statement will be records are written from that statement so whatever the name value which will not be available in second select statement will be returned so let's execute so here we have checked that C and HKZ is not available in our second result set so it will be returned by the accept clause so this one is the first select statement and this one is the second select statement now I'm going to execute the query let's see and here you can see C HKZ is returned it means these records are not available in our second select statement so let's execute all curry together so we can get better understanding whether we are getting right result or not so yeah, here i am going to execute all three queries together so this one is the result set of from first select statement this one is the result set from second select statement and this is the output of accept clause so here you can see a b is also available here and E also available here so it will not be turned in similar way I is not there so it will not be returned doesn't matter whatever the value in our second select statement it will not consider only the records will be returned which are available in our first selected statement but not exist in our second selected statement so these records are written by Accept clause. In similar way, we can also check for multiple columns. So here I'm going to take one more column here. If what happens if I reversed the statement, it means now my first statement is table two and second statement is table one. So now in this case it will check for these statements records which are not available here because now my first statement is table 2 and second statement is table 1 so let's execute them yes now it will check for those records from first statement which are not available in second statement 
so here a b is available it will not be returned e also available here in second statement it will also will not be returned only the value i which are not available in second statement will be returned so let's execute this and here is output so it is a simple one like whatever the values from first select statement which are not available in second select statement is returned so in similar way we can also check for multiple records so it is mandatory like whatever the column we have we will have in our first select statement must be included in second select statement as well suppose if we have a two columns then it is mandatory that we will have two column also there in our second select statement so let's execute so here you can see it returns one record it means now it will check for combination of rows like two columns so value for two columns not matched with values for these two columns in second statement so here is you can see third and i the combination three and i is not exist there combination of of one and a is also there combination of two and b is also there combination of four and e is also there so it returns only combination of three and i which not exist in second statement so this is the output of accept clause hope you like the video kindly to subscribe the youtube channel so that you can get the latest video update on sql server thanks for watching the video